Today, on Be Something Wonderful, Quantum Leap Manifesting. This is Next Level. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Here we are in the beautiful Dutch Caribbean in the island of Bonaire. I have a big video for you today. I had a few sessions yesterday, four sessions in total. In three of those sessions, very powerful realization which e with each one of you, each one of these creators that I talked to. And the discussion was, Tom, before, when I scheduled the session with you, I had a lot of questions on what was going on in my reality and my life and so forth. But after I scheduled the session, something happened, right? The, the, the question got answered. I moved realities. I, I, in, in a few cases, they, they talked about manifesting their desire. One had to do with a specific person. Another had to do with money. One of them, it was a combination of a health issue and something going on with the job. But in all cases, they moved. They moved to the identity, to the reality that they desired. What's going on here? And I know a few of you that talk to me on a regular basis. This happens, right? But what's going on? Well, there's a sense of relief. There's a sense of release. There's a sense of you moving to that identity. Once you've got the thing scheduled, and you go, okay, the problem's solved. I'm going to talk to Tom or, or whatever it is, right? Whatever that sense is, you move. Remember, it's about you. It's not about me. <laughs> it's not from talking to me that, that, that it, it's from you, you deciding that now I am that person I desire to be. You had a quantum leap into that new desired reality, into that new identity instantly as you decided like, oh, okay, I, I, I feel this sense of relief. I, 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 you feel like the problem's going to be solved in the future, but it's not. It's done in that instant you move to that reality. And so it was reflected and projected as your 3D physical experience. This is powerful because it, it, it's a segue into what we're going to talk to, about today. And, uh, and there were a few comments on the channel. Um, one, I want to contrast these comments, some beautiful things about people moving instantly and right away, and then others not, sensing that they're not moving. So remember, you're a quantum, multidimensional being, absolutely limitless. All powerful, all potential resides within you, all realities. I think one of you asked, well, Tom, on a recent video, I've never heard you talk about that we're, that we're all identities, all realities before. That's all we talk about. <laughs> and there's dozens of videos on the channel that you asked if I could do one. Well, I'm always happy to do a video on that, but all of our videos are based on that. Everything, everywhere, all at once, that's you, an insanely powerful divine being, the center of all that is, all that was, or all that will ever be, choosing, focusing, and being aware and conscious of what aspect, what viewpoint, what perspective and vantage point you desire, that innate divine urge to know yourself as ultimate reality, because that's what all desire is, no matter how it's translated into a 3D physical focus, it's all a desire from that divine urge of you as source to know yourself as source, you as awareness to be aware of something. You as consciousness to be conscious of something. That's what consciousness and awareness does. So that's you, to experience yourself as all that you are, all that you really are, right? And so the limitless, all-powerful, infinite you limiting itself to know yourself experientially as that one reality as that one consciousness, as that one awareness. That's how I want to start, and we're going to unpack it like we never have before. So, one of you, this is interesting, because in, in the fourth session yesterday, right, the three sessions, we talked about them moving to that new reality, even before they talk to me. Before they call, I will answer. Right? Your I am awareness says this. Your I am awareness answered you 
as you schedule that, as you schedule it, you felt that, that sense of relief. But it doesn't have to come from scheduling with me. I want to be clear. It can come anytime you can move into, make a quantum leap because you always are leaping. You're always shifting realities in every moment. Billions of frames per second, you're shifting and creating and manifesting your desired life experience. Your life experience, right? A desire to know yourself as source. Right? It's only that 3D you that judges, oh, that's not it. That's not really what I want. I want this. I get it. But remember, you're shifting in every moment. This creator studied all the spiritual grades, watched tons of content, followed countless manifesting coaches, analyzed and applied all the information and techniques for years. So many insights and realizations within, very similar to a comment that we had on the channel yesterday. And there were, in other words, there were a lot of inner movement over these years. But then they said, but nothing but goose eggs on the outside or until, until now, right? Until we talked. <laughs> now they're going to see plenty of movement, right? But nothing but goose eggs. Two big factors, they said, that they were influenced by, right? Two the videos or content on the channel as we talked. The, the one idea that I've talked about is your now identity, that version and assumptions of who you are creates you and your past, present, and future reality, all of it, right now. In other words, who you're being right now creates that horizontal linear path that makes more sense to your current identity. All of those other possibilities or things that you believed happened in the past, and they didn't, they're all happening now, still belong to you in, in the sense of ultimate reality, the ultimate identity, but they no longer belong to this version of you. I've talked about this. So again, this creator had a very similar experience to one on the channel that in this moment feels like they're struggling and have been struggling for years. This one, this particular creator had the same story when I first talked to them. Now it's changed, right? What changed? Two big factors they talked about. Their videos or content that they were influenced by. This idea that in this moment, who you are is a totally new identity. And that determines who you were and who you will be and who you are in this moment. In other words, it creates your entire reality, past, present, and future. The totality of your experience. And this idea that I've talked about in earlier videos that there's no inside or outside. We, we create this idea that there's an out there that needs to change. And I've had this inner movement in there, but I haven't, I've had goose eggs or no outer movement. Do you see how we're dividing reality up between what's going on within and what's going on outside? But they're the same. And until you move to that idea, you're going to keep creating this reality where nothing happens, where it's goose eggs out there. And remember that path, it wasn't, you're not looking at a past that, that, from, that was in the past where there were no goose eggs. You're creating the idea of no goose eggs in the past now. In other words, no movement. When I say no goose eggs, that's the words they use. In other words, nothing but goose eggs. <laughs> the, the, the expression of goose eggs means nothing, nada, nothing happened. So this experience of you having this idea that nothing happened in the past is created now. You don't know what happened in the past because there is no past. You only know who you are now and what you're creating as your idea, what you're remembering, the, the imaginal image, because that's all a memory is. You're remembering something and you're putting it there now. You're saying, that's who I am. Nothing happened in the past. I had all this inner movement, but nothing happened. You're creating that reality now from this current identity. I've talked about this idea. Right? And then this idea that there's no inside or outside. They kept putting, they said, they, he, this particular subscriber goes, I get it. I kept the, separating the idea that, of inner movement with outer effects or outer manifestations or outer movement. And this person understands that they are the inside and outside. They're all of it. And that's when they saw this huge shift in their life. Right? In every area love, money, health, friends, right? Even with relatives. They're talking about stories where relationships with their relatives have changed. This is big. And, and here's a comment um, 
I think this was one of you on the channel that had very similar con uh, comments of this creator who I was just talking about, who had made the transition, understands there's no inside or outside, understands that they're creating it all in this moment, understands there's no past where nothing happens. They're creating that nothing happens right now. This person said zero, absolute zero effects on the outside. Loves the idea of reality creation, but the results don't lie. And at some point you just have to face it and it really hurts. This is what one of you said on the channel. This is very similar. Again, I'm, I'm putting these ideas together, very similar to this person, that I, this creator that I talked with yesterday, early in, their, in, in our discussions on when they came to the channel and talked to me for the first time. They had that idea, right? That, they, that, that the outside's not changing, there's zero effects, but I've moved in side, but there's no, again, making a separation. And then the idea that, that there is a past where nothing happens, and it's in the past, and I know that, and I know it, Tom, I know that that happened because it didn't, I know nothing happened because that's my experience. Well, you're creating that experience right now through who you're being. There is no past identity where it didn't happen. There's just all of your identities right now, and you get to choose what identity you're occupying, what quantum leap you want to make. There's no out there, out there, as John Wheeler, the scientist, said. There's no outside or out there. There's no in there either. Inside equals outside. There's no reality. There are no results out there or outside of you. This idea that I'm not getting the results that I want, those outer results. It's not about just having to fake it. Or face re or it's not ha or fake it or just having to face it, right? Face reality or face the facts. You create in our reality. There are no truth. Or there are no facts outside of you. This idea that at some point you have to face it. There is no point to face it. You are the face. You are reality. You're creating those facts. You're creating that reality that hurts. Do you see it right now? There's no past where it didn't happen. There's no future that didn't come yet. Do you see it? We're waiting for a future that never seems to come. You're creating that future that never seems to come. Right now. Past, present, and future are all right now. Do you hear this today? This is powerful. It's not about just having to face it. Stop trying to face reality and create it. Be it. See it right now. There's nothing to face or, or, or the clear uh, non-fulfillment. Right? There's nothing to clear here, right? So this is powerful. Remember, this is who you are. This I am awareness, the real you, right? I am awareness, that multidimensional being that is all realities. And then the Son of God, as Scripture talks about it, right? The Son of God, that, that being that you really are, the real you, your higher self that's one with all other higher selves that's one with the Father or the great ultimate reality, right? As Scripture talks about. That one isness of reality. That one self-aware consciousness. That's you. And then you have an identity as that consciousness, as that awareness. And that is, can be anything, and it's changing. You see here in every moment. That identity as the Son of Man, the Son of God and the Son of Man, Create your entire linear experience. But look at this. I put dotted lines here this time. That entire linear experience is always changing, past, present, and future, by deciding who you are right now. That's what, <laughs> this is what A Course in Miracles says the script is written. Well, yes, each one of these scripts live in potential, and they're written. You're not, you can't change, or you don't change any one of these scripts. So when you say there's no results, that you just have to face it, you're looking here at this manifested reality and trying to make effects here, trying to make change where change can never be made. Right? That script is written, meaning all potential realities exist, all potential versions of you, all potential versions of God or all that is. You're not trying to change God or alter God. All of those exist. Focus on who you're being now. Do you see this? Right? They're infinite. This, this horizontal linear experience is infinitely changing according to who you are. And so you're focused on changing or cleaning up the outside. You see, you're focused here where you can never clean that up. You can never change that because it's always changing. 
You see, every time you look at it, it changes. Every time you move, it changes. Every time you complain or praise, it changes. Do you see this? So you're focused on changing or cleaning up the out there when there's no out there. And so you keep creating this idea that nothing ever changes. Yeah, I love the videos. I love what these spiritual teachers are talking about. It all feels good, but nothing ever changes. That's your story. That's what you're creating. Because you're focused here in, the, in this, these changing manifested conditions that look solid, that look immovable, that look like they never change. You're looking at that, con, that solidity, right? that co continuity. But remember, that is what the 3D physical experience is. It's supposed to look continuous and solid. We're supposed to believe it in, in a sense, but knowing that it's the greater reality behind it, that you're a greater being and enjoying the movie, like going to a movie. You're not going to start dissecting it and saying, oh, that scene, this is how they did that scene. This is how they made it. You might, but you can still enjoy the movie. You can still enjoy that three linear experience and get lost in it and feel all the emotions that, that you feel when you're in this experience, knowing that you're a greater being. Jesus in the Gospel of Thomas said this. This is powerful. Why do you wash the outside of the cup? Don't you know that whoever created the inside created the outside too? Wow. Hear this. So you're trying to, you're, you're cleaning the, when you're focused here and saying there's no results, there's a, there's, I'm only getting goose eggs, absolutely zero effects out there. You're trying to clean up the outside, trying to change this outside, this already manifested reality that's always changing anyway. Even as you effort to change it, it's changing. But it's changing into the lack that you're feeling. It's changing into the, the, the goose eggs that you're imagining. <laughs> so don't you know that whoever created the inside, and you're saying, I had inside movement, great inside movement for years, powerful realizations, but goose eggs. Nothing happening. Absolutely zero effects on the outside. And Jesus would say, your I am awareness says, why do you wash the outside of the cup? Don't you know that whoever created the inside created the outside? That the inside and outside are the same. It's you dividing that up. It's you creating that separation that is creating that idea. This is powerful. <laughs> so we're going to get back to this, right? Get back to this idea. Inside equals outside. Cause equals effect. Problem equals answer. It's all the same. There's no past where there were no results. You're creating that right now by your current focused identity. There is no past where there are no results, right? There are no future results that still haven't manifested. You're creating that right now. I know you're going to say, well, Tom, here are pictures of me at this event or when this happened. But remember, all of those are being created right now. There is no past. There is no future where nothing, uh, there's no future that still hasn't manifested. There's no past where there were no results. All of that's being created by your identity now. You're creating a horizontal linear past experience that makes sense to your sense of lack and no results right now. You're creating a linear future with, that always seems out of reach according to who you're being right now. Ultimate, and then Jesus goes on in the Gospel of Thomas, Ultimate reality is within you and outside of you. In other words, there is no inside or outside. It's all ultimate reality. It's all who you are. Hear this. Source or ultimate reality or the kingdom of God is within you and outside of you. Very powerful insights today, right? And you say, well, I don't get it. Well, remember, what don't you get? It, it, it's, a, it's not about that. It's about who and the who is you. Another creator gets it. Wow. What's the difference? What's the difference? You keep declaring that you don't get it. You keep declaring that there were no results. This other one's declaring, I get it. I'm there. I understand. Inside equals outside. Right? That in this moment, I create it all from this current identity. And this is what one of you said, a beautiful comment. I've been hooked on these videos for some months now. Major shifts taken place in my life. My girl left me and I found the girl in my dreams. Hear this. My girl left me. Whoever he thought was the one that, the specific person, left him and he found the girl of his dreams, the girl that he really wanted to be with. That's powerful. I am rich and prosperous and so is everything around me. Feeling the prosperity and the abundance. 
And then, he, then this subscriber goes on to say, love is everywhere and, all, and are all one. Taking my business and my job to another level. Wow. This is powerful. This is what we're talking about. And we're hearing this and seeing this over and over again. For those of you who are saying, I, but where are the stories? Where are those people? They're here. They're in everywhere. Where are you? That's the question. That's it. God looking for, when Moses is checking out the burning bush, Moses, Moses, Moses says, here I am. Where are you? Right? So this is powerful. There are no effects or results out there outside of who and what you're conscious and aware of being right now. There's no in there or out there. There's just who and the who is you. Who and you right now. There's no past where there are no results. There's no future that seems to never come. You create those ideas right now. There's no process or technique to apply out there. You are the process. I am the way. I am the door. Jesus said that. I am awareness. I, I am the law of Moses, as Jesus declared in the show, The Chosen. I am the law. I am the process. There's nothing outside of me. There's nothing in there or out there. It's just me. There's no 3D reality to navigate, manage, or deal with. Some of you ask that. How do I deal with this? How do I navigate it? It's you. Do, do or don't do whatever in, 3D, in the 3D script. But you are all of that. There, no, there's no years of amazing, powerful realizations in inner movement and then absolutely zero effects on the outside. You're creating that idea right now. Separating the outside and the inside. Dividing up God. Dividing up reality. There are no facts or results that don't lie or no reality to face or facts to face. This is what that one subscriber wrote in the channel. None of that. That's all you. You're creating the lies or the, or the no results or the goose egg, right? It's just, it's just you here and now feeling hurt, right? Creating your past, present, and future of hurt in absolutely zero results. You're creating that past, present, and future of feeling hurt in zero results right now by who and what you're focused on being. But on the other hand, here's the good news. Also right now, you can, you can do an absolutely 180, a quantum leap to the recognition that you're reality, that there is no inside or outside. That in this moment, you create that past, present, and future. You get to decide what you, quote, remember or imagine. A two to three second imaginal scene or assumption of your ideal, of who you are, past, present, and future. Right? One scene that implies past, present, and future, you are that person you desire to be. It can't get any more powerful than that. That's powerful today. You create your entire life experience, past, present, and future, here and now, or not at all. And not at all doesn't exist because there is no non-existence. By definition, non-existence can't exist. So there is no not at all. So you're creating your entire life experience, past, present, past, present, and future, here and now. Right here and now. There you are. I am awareness. I am awareness. That I am identity, that self-concept that's constantly changing. And then that physically focused you. All of those realities, all of these possibilities, all these potential realities or versions or identities are all you. One superimposed over another with a certain folk physically focused that you have. Do you see? You decide. They're not separate. That's what a parallel turn of reality means it's all you right now, one superimposed over another, with, out through which you have some physical focus. Who are you? That, you're quantum leaping in every moment. So don't wait to quantum leap. Quantum leap now. That's quantum leap manifesting. That's next level. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on our videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, The Ambassadors, at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. For joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen and our membership channel. We will have another live stream. We were testing our live events, how to, when we're launching them and checking sound, and one of them got queued up as a live event. For those that were waiting, guys, that was, not, uh, that was just a, a test. 
that we didn't delete. So if you are waiting, no worries. The wait is over. We're going to be announcing our next live event soon, very soon, from here in Bonaire, <laughs> in the Dutch Caribbean. This is going to be cool. Creators, with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude, this is Tom Karen here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Until next time, we'll see you soon.